All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the professional. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to corners, not fight. the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Caught that kick there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Just look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Still nice body kick lands. Just misses with that one. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, single collar tie now. Big head kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Missed with that attempt. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, nice. Big head kick. Now goes in and secures the 
takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Big call from Coach Land. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Massive knee to the body land. Nice leg kick land. Ooh, blocks the shot. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Wow, what a head kick. Time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Single collar tie. First round winding down here. Oh, that's a big hook there. Stand right here. What a fight we got going on here. How about those five minutes? All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Boy, Ty Plum. Oh, whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, straight right. Oh! Trying to establish that jab once again. A little single collar tie there. Punch over the top. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Right hook to the head block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, 
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick. Oh man, that's hard to watch. Another leg kick lands flush. And if you're the opponent at this point in time, you gotta check something. What are you doing? You gotta adjust. You gotta be doing something different because to this point, what you're doing is not working. Get close, fight chest to chest, maybe relax on the outside. Don't panic, don't be jumpy. Try to find comfort in knowing that you've done this. You have the reps, you know how to check kicks. Just take your time, be comfortable, get that leg up. It's only gonna take one great check to make right. him stop throwing those kicks. Good shit. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quick. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, her belly jab. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round, and how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at, even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You gotta think they're gonna call the doctor in here, and if it gets any worse, you gotta think they have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Watch the strike. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Nice punch lands. Powerful leg kick lands. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Single collar tie now. Right punches there. Punches blocked. Again, back to his position. And there comes the separation now. Big punch land for the middle. Trying to set up that counter kick, but he misses there. Oh, 
and he caught the kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice loop and punch. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Got the single collar tie. with the right. Oh, and he caught the kick. He gets a turtle in that kick. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in color. Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. And they separate. Good punch, land. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big leg kick, land. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, big punch land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Now he's got that tight punch. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Just misses there with the left. All right, single collar tie now. So that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, he's done. This guy has nothing left. Oh, All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip, for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, are you ready? You ready? So fight. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That's a big strike right there. Unable to land the head kick there. Checks that leg kick. The right hand just misses. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble.
Big kick land. Huge block there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but... No! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 54 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete did it. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.